In this video, we're going to set up some useful tools called Yeoman, Grunt, and Bower. Before we get to installing these tools, let me tell you a little bit about why I think it's a good idea to use Yeoman, Grunt, and Bower. They remove obstacles by automating tedious, repetitive work. Another is these tools are not hard to learn about. These are the kinds of tools pro front-end developers are using to prototype and build web apps. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Yeoman. You can go to yeoman.io and see their website. I encourage you to check it out and read more there. In short, Yeoman helps us build the scaffolding for a web app with a few short commands. It will pull in all the things we want, such as boilerplate HTML, jQuery, and Twitter Bootstrap, the CSS framework. In addition, we'll use it to compile CSS and run a local server. Yeoman's actually just a wrapper for two other great tools called Grunt and Bower. Don't worry too much about knowing the ins and outs of Grunt and Bower, but I'll show you a few useful things you can do with them as we build our project together. If you want to know more, I encourage you to check out the websites for Grunt and Bower. Grunt is at gruntjs.com, and Bower is at bower.io. In short, though, Grunt runs tasks, and Bower manages packages. You're going to see both of these things in action soon. Let's get on to installing Yeoman. First, we have to open Terminal on a Mac, and in Windows, you would open Command Prompt, but I'm going to go over that in just a second. So I have Terminal open, and I'm at my home folder, which is indicated by the tilde in Mac. In order to get to my project, I'm going to type cd desktop. Now I'm inside the desktop folder. Now I'm going to type cd html5 web apps. Now I'm inside that folder. Okay, just a few more steps. I'm going to go to chapter one by typing cd chapter one, and then cd before. Before is just an empty folder where we're going to build our scaffolding. The after folder has the end result, so you can compare. Now I'm going to go through those same steps for Windows, and you'll see that they're very similar. In Users, I open the command prompt. I'm in my version of the home folder for Windows, which is slash users slash admin. You may have admin or you may have your name there. Either is fine. Now I'm going to type cd desktop, just as I did on the Mac. I'm going to type cd html5 web apps, and I'm inside that folder. I'm going to cd to chapter 1 and cd to before. So as you can see, the steps are virtually identical. Now I'm going to be back at the terminal because that's my comfort zone. But when there are differences between Mac and Windows, I'll be sure to outline them in detail. Okay, in terminal, I'm going to type the command npm install dash g yeoman and hit enter. npm stands for node package manager. We installed that when we installed Node.js. npm manages packages or little apps that run on top of Node, the framework that we installed. And Yeoman is one of those packages. Let's wait for Yeoman to install, and then we'll do a little bit more work. Now that Yeoman is installed, you need to type npm install dash g generator dash web app, then hit enter. This command will install another package. This package is a generator that will generate the structure, and a lot of the code will need to scaffold out our web app. OK, now that that's done, we can run the generator by typing yo web app. But if for some reason that doesn't work, if you get an error, that means that you don't have a variable you need on your path. So if your web app doesn't work, here's what you need to do. Type sudo vim slash etsy slash paths and hit enter. You'll need to enter your password that you use for logging into your computer. Okay, you can see I have slash user slash local slash share slash npm slash bin at the bottom of this file. If you don't have that, you'll need to type it. The way you type in Vim is you hit your I key on your keyboard and you start typing. Once you've typed that, hit the escape key on your keyboard. Next, you want to hit colon W Q, which will tell Vim to write this file or save it and then quit Vim and hit enter. And that should have saved that to your path variable. So you'll need to quit terminal. Then you'll need to reopen it. Okay, now I need to navigate back to my code. So I'm going to type cd desktop html5 web apps chapter one before. Now I should be able to type yo web app. That command tells Yeoman to run the web app generator we just installed. And then we're going to select some defaults. Okay, so there's Yeoman saying welcome to Yeoman, ladies and gentlemen. And he asks us what we'd like to install. He offers us the option to have SAS with Compass, Bootstrap, and Modernizer. Don't worry too much about what all these things are. We are going to keep all of them. However, in the future, if you wanted to get rid of them, you could hit your spacebar to toggle them on and off. But we're just going to hit the Enter key and let Yeoman install all these great tools for us. 
Okay, now that that's complete, let's use Grunt to run a server to see what the generator built for us. All you have to do in the terminal here or in the command prompt is type grunt serve. This will run a small light development server and then it's gonna even launch your default browser for you and display the page. Note all the things that the generator already built for us. We have some basic navigation and we have evidence of HTML5 boilerplate, SAS with compass, bootstrap, and modernizer all being installed for us. Those are really useful tools that we're gonna to use to build our modern HTML5 web app. Okay, now let me show you something really cool. I'm using a text editor called Sublime Text, but you can use any text editor you choose. I'm gonna use it to open the index.html file that the web app generator just put inside the app folder. All I do is I browse to the folder on my desktop for chapter one, then the before folder where we just ran the generator. And then if I look inside the app folder, I can see an index.html file. This is the one that we wanna play with. Once you have that file open, let's change the message from allo allo to something else. You can see it's on line 41 right here. So let's delete that. I'm just deleting it with my backspace key and I'm going to type hello world. And then I'm going to save this. In Sublime Text, you can always go up to the file menu and hit save but I like hitting Command S, that's much faster. In Windows, you could hit Control S. Now, I'm just gonna switch back to my browser and scroll back up, and you can see without refreshing that what once said, allo, allo, now says, hello world, and I didn't even have to refresh the browser. How cool is that? So how did this happen? Grunt listens for code changes in the folder that's serving up the code and simply refreshes the server for you. So now we don't have to do anything as savage as hit the refresh button in our browser. Grunt will do it for us. Now we can focus on writing our code. Now that we have all that in place, we are ready to write some code.